today we're going to look at how you can replicate a course if that course that you are replicating has a sys ID number. If you don't know what a sys ID number is, you will in a minute. The first thing you're going to need to do is find the course that you want to copy. If you are looking for a course that is concluded, chances are you will not find it anymore on your dashboard. That does not mean it is gone. You just need to click on the courses icon over on the left side, click all courses, and then scroll down until you see the past enrollments section. That's where you will find courses that have been concluded and are no longer on your dashboard. But the course I'm going to use as my example is on my dashboard. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to click on the course. To get to the sys ID, you're going to click on the settings within the course and make sure that you are in the course details tab. Now for courses that were concluded and are no longer on your dashboard, you will not see the sys ID number anymore under course details. That's something that has changed recently and I'm not sure why, but you can still get to the sys ID number by clicking on the sections tab and there's the sys ID number right there. You're going to want to select the sys ID number. This is the way I do it and then just copy it. You're going to find the course that you are wanting to copy the content into. It's most likely going to be in your unpublished courses section on your dashboard. Once again, you're going to go to the settings in the course. In the settings menu on the right side, you're going to click import course content. And you're going to see two options here. You can either select a course and as you can see, if you teach more than one section of a course with the same name, it's going to be impossible to tell which course shell you are copying from. So that's why we got our sys ID number. So we are going to paste that sys ID number in there. And now it's going to pull up the exact course that we wanted to copy. We're going to select all content and then I recommend if it's from a past semester, you'll probably want to adjust the events and due dates and just remove the dates and then click import.